What's cracking guys, Omar Yusuf here, here with the couch, strongest couch in the history of couches. Also the most charismatic couch. You know, you don't you don't often see couches talk, which is kind of strange, you know? We're here with less clothes than ever before because what are we talking about today, Jeremy? We're talking about grinding. Yeah. Not the dance moves, like why you should not grind in or, the gym. Or not grinding. Or not grind, why you should not grind. So, Jeremy, define grinding in the gym. Like, what does it mean? Mm, I guess when you see people lift the weight and the bar stops and then they seesaw back and forth and then sometimes it gets going again, yeah. sometimes it does not. Although most of the time it does not. Yeah, and then they go again. Yeah, and then they go again. <laughs> right. And that's uh, actually, you're greasing a suboptimal motor pattern. Okay. By doing that. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. So, grinding once again is kind of when you're struggling with the rep. You're not really in control. The rep speed is slowing down significantly. And Techn stopping. Yeah, and yeah. technically how it looks. It also doesn't look good. No, it's, it's wrong. You're greasing the wrong groove. You are teaching yourself to actually have a stop in your rep. So the more you do that, the more times your brain is gonna code the lift as that. That is the task you're doing. You are making the bar stop and then trying to get it going again. Okay, now why do you think people do that? Just simply ego or what is it, Jeremy? Yeah, I think ego is a huge part of it. I think uh, they see a lot of people on YouTube and they hit their big lifts or they, you know, they see them in a, in a meet and they grind out a lift or whatever. So they think that they have to do that all the time. Right, but actually that is wrong. It's right. very wrong actually. Um, You've heard of like the term practice makes perfect? Absolutely. Well, that's bullshit. Perfect practice makes perfect. Oh. So you're saying that training is not one giant rocky montage. Is that what you're saying? No, and we've said that before. Right. If I simplify, I say this is a bench press. Right. From here to here. Right. Not this. Sure. Stopping. As soon as you do that, uh, you're screwed. As soon as you grind, you should right away take weight off the bar. Get the bar moving fast again, over and over. And that kind of goes back maybe to the point you're saying of training a Largely in the 70 to 80 percent rep range. That's or percentage, right. Sorry, range. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one. Yeah. But uh, uh, Jeremy, talk me uh, through this as well. Someone will say, "I'm going to play devil's advocate here." Someone's going to say, "But Jeremy, like my favorite lifter grinds all the time, and he's getting stronger. Why can't I?" So to the person that says that, like, I see my favorite lifter do this. Why should I listen to you? Uh, I don't believe you. I don't believe you see that. <laughs> I think maybe you see that on YouTube once right. in a while. You're seeing like a big lift, and they throw it up on YouTube. But the majority of training should not be that way. And I would say all training should not be that way. As right. soon as you, as soon as you fail or are close to failing. Bring the weight down. Okay. I've never in my life seen someone, you know, grind one week, grind a second week, grind again, and then all of a sudden, week four, it's boom, it, it, yeah, like butter. It like, never goes. They just get better from sleeping. No. You right. need to grease the proper groove. Okay. And now, to support your argument, can you maybe uh, list some people that you admire, like technically how they train, or just something like people mm -hmm. that emulate what you're saying? If you go and like look at like all like the the Russians, the way they train. He's a communist. God damn. They're treating it like practice and like you should be. Right. They're not treating it like a workout. So if you go look at like Pazdiev, he does a. Uh, there's like a deadlift workout he's done recently where he does like five singles and a deadlift. And all of them look perfect and he was only happy with one of them. None of them stopped moving. None of them grinded at all. They all went smooth from floor to lockout in one motion. Right. So he's one key name, maybe a couple others. Andre or... Belayev. Yeah, you never see them break down under a heavy load. Even when they start to fail, it still stays perfect. How did you get into this like methodology or this idea of not grinding? Like, how did you implement it? When do you realize this is something you've always been doing? Or I think through experience, when you find out that hitting failure is just uh, it shuts you down right away. Right. You, there's nowhere to go once you can't uh, progress to the next workout. Like you can't add weight or. Uh, it feels like you have to bring the reps completely down in order to complete perfect reps. Um, you're you're done. Man. You, yeah. need, you need to take weight off the bar and keep the bar moving fast every time. I don't know why in uh, powerlifting they train like this because you don't see that in any other sport. Sure. You never go down to a tennis court and see a tennis player practicing serves until the bar, until the ball is hitting the net. Right. And he's failing. Flailing slot. I'll get it next time though. Yeah, they don't go to fail. Same with like a, a golfer. You never see someone work on their uh, drive by going to failure right. and greasing an uh, improper uh, motor pattern. The couch has spoken. Do not grind and you do not grind because because 
uh, it shuts you down. It, yeah. As soon as you, it greases an improper motor pattern. Yeah. Um, it teaches you to actually have a sticking point. When you get to a point where the bar stops, that's what you're teaching yourself to do. You're yeah. teaching the bar to stop. Yeah. Train smart, also auto regulate, as you said, do the bulk of your training in that. Right, in the 70 80% range. Yeah. And you're absolutely right in auto regulating. Yeah. Uh, when you feel like you're not performing properly anymore, that's when you cycle back down and cycle back up. That is auto regulation. Not coming in and doing whatever the hell you feel like doing that. Sure. Yeah. I think a lot of people call misinterpret them, that. Yeah, they yeah. call themselves, oh, I'm auto regulating, I feel like maxing out today. Well, you're just wasting your fucking time, basically. Strong Couch once told me, you know what he said? What? He said, you gotta build strength. Not right, test it, not right? Test it. Yeah, absolutely. That's right. And you got, you build strength and uh, by performing perfect reps. Guys, that is the video. Couch, thanks for speaking that wisdom. Do not grind, right? Be smart about your training. Good. Yeah, and if you if you take any video that we do, I think <laughs> this is the most important one. That rep quality matters probably the most out of almost everything other than like volume and consistency. We're gonna have Jeremy back. Post below what you want to see Jeremy talk about. It could be about anything. 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 That's the boat. Yeah. Yeah, and if you like the video, uh, say about again. A boot. A boot. Just a boot. You guys, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And we'll be seeing all you guys, my rascals, in that next video. Peace.